make a few smaller feet covers out of bigger ones. Glue the edges and it's ready. Disposable feet covers are crucial when entering a hospital. Everyone follows the rules and the patients wait for their turn wearing feet covers. It's so clean here. Good afternoon, I have an appointment with Dr. Page. I'll check the database. Yes, that's right, she's ready for you. Thanks. The patient went to the doctor's office. Wait, you should wear feet covers when you go in. Sorry, I completely forgot. After putting them on, Betty took her place in line. She had to wait for a long time. There were a lot of people in front of her, so Betty got bored. <sighs> Betty Lynn, the doctor is already waiting for you. Oh, finally. After the visit, she left the clinic. Why is everyone staring at me? Oops, someone forgot to take off the feet covers. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> Let's make a stethoscope out of a cord and a wire. Two arms and a tube. Beads can serve as inserts. And a piece like this will be the main part. The doctor was looking through patient records when a coughing girl came in. <coughs> Do you have symptoms other than coughing? No, only coughing. <coughs> Let's listen to your lungs. Hmm. I need to check you for pneumonia. We need to do an x-ray. Take this. She got it done right away, but the result showed that her lungs were clean. Yay! The doctor gave her a prescription. Prue will get better at home. Thank you. Cut a bandage into thin strips. Let's take care of the packaging. Molly is having an allergic reaction. <sighs> Owie. No one likes zits. Dr. Emily has already prepared some ointment. Phew. Apply it all over the face. And wrap the head in bandages so you don't smear it with your hands. Doctor, will it take long? Only 10 minutes. Dr. Blair, Dr. Blair, Dr. Jane. The bandages were removed oh, wow. and Molly was excited. Her face was clean again. Yay, my skin looks all better. Sophie is the best skateboarder but sometimes accidents happen. While doing complex tricks, she didn't notice a curve. Boom. Owie. The skater girl lost her balance. She woke up in the hospital. Hello. Who are you? Yay, Sophie, you're with us again. Doctor, what's with my leg? I can't feel it. Oh. We gave you some anesthetic. Now we'll put you in a cast. You have a small fracture. Fill an empty container with Elmer's glue and water. Dip bandages in it. Cover the patient's leg with tape, then add a bandage. Everything's ready. The joint is secure. You'll have to stay like that for a while. I hope I'll be able to skate again soon, of course. But for now, you'll use the wheelchair. Okay. Wow, I can still do cool things. Even with a broken leg, Sophie can do extreme sports. Oops. Now she's her own skateboard. <laughs> we'll need this empty blister pack to make a new one. 10 half beads will become pills. The doctor has a mysterious <laughs> patient. I can't recognize you, miss. Oh, doctor, I'm having allergies. It's terrible, I have a first date today. We can fix it, don't worry. The doctor applied sanitizer to her hands and tools. Then she took a closer look at the patient. Hmm. Take one of these pills. Mm -hmm. She took the medicine and her allergic reaction disappeared. Oh, wow, it's a miracle. Yay! Regina went on a date with her head held high. Wow. Her date was already waiting for her with flowers. Mm. They spent a nice evening in the cafe <laughs> and she forgot all about her allergies. Connect the tube and the lid to make a steady support. Bend the wire. It will be the holder. Use spray paint to highlight the support with silver. Wrap a thin wire around glass bottles. We need to fill the droppers with solutions. In order not to spill the solutions, seal them with plastic. Attach a bolt. Connect the waxed cord and a bottle. 
Vitamin droppers are ready. Melissa goes to get an IV every day. She's been feeling fatigued. The doctor prescribed her some vitamins. Melissa, I have some good news. The test showed that you're absolutely healthy. No more IV. Yay! Oh, I am so happy, but I got so used to seeing you. I'd rather we meet outside a hospital. Okay. Here are your results. Congratulations. The doctor and his patient can't help being emotional. Add wheels from an old bicycle to an axle. Make a wire frame of a rocking chair. There is a foot support on the bottom. Make a seat out of three layers. Oh, wow. It looks very comfortable. The seat matched the back. Paint the leg support purple. The nurse helps elderly patients during their walks. Fresh air and company are important for patients' health. The nurse makes sure that the woman is comfy and warm under her blanket. Hi. Today, she's meeting a friend. <laughs> Playing chess together is a great way to spend her free time. Are you ready for war? This time, I won't go easy on you. <laughs> Cut a part of a dropper. A drop of hot glue will shape the bottom. A syringe is filling the container with disinfectant. A comfortable dispenser will make it easier to use. Glue on a label, and the sanitizer is ready to destroy all the germs. Rose came to see a doctor. She needs her pregnancy checkup. Uh, I can already feel him kicking. I'll sanitize my hands and take a look at you. Hmm. After that, I'll sanitize my hands again. You're so responsible with hygiene. Your health is important to me. Push pins will become syringes. Glue on a sequin so it's easier to push. Add a rod to the bottom. Markings will help measure the right amount of medicine. Dr. Schmidt is vaccinating students today. Dora is scared of syringes. She's so sensitive. That's okay, we can do it. Maybe we should take a smaller syringe? She's a big girl already. Dora, you need this for your health. Mm -hmm. Oh, the net needle is huge. Oh, shh, sweetie, I'm here. <sighs> it's just like a mosquito bite. That's it. That's not scary at all. Yay. The doctor gave her the shot and everyone was happy. <laughs> Make a blood pressure monitor out of an old pencil sharpener. Add a control panel with a screen. Use old headphones and a plug to attach the wires. And a foam paper sleeve with a Velcro will secure the device. Lauren came to the doctor because she had a migraine. We need to check your blood pressure. Let's measure it and check if it's normal. Well, well, everything looks okay. Your blood pressure is fine, and I'll prescribe you something for your migraine. Two pills, in the morning and in the evening, and everything will be all right. Thanks, doctor. These beads look so pretty, it's hard to choose. Attach a little hammer inside a wire loop. Wrap the handle with a cord. Every neurologist should have a hammer like this. Before starting school, all children need to have a medical checkup. <laughs> the doctor is checking patient's nervous system and reflexes. Knock. The hammer made the leg move. That means your reflexes are fine. So she is completely healthy and ready to start school. Yippee! Good luck at school, sweetie. Sophia is reading magazines under the trees. The doctor visited her. Here are the new additions. Maybe they'll be more interesting. Our library isn't too big. And if you want, we can just go for a walk. Of course. It's still too early to stand up. It is. But I'll take you to the most beautiful places of our park. There is going to be a special operation in this hospital. The anesthesiologist gave his patient general anesthetic. The patient is slowly falling asleep. She closed her eyes, which means the anesthetic worked. Now the doctor can start the operation. Cindy's knee is all better now. Yay! She'll be able to run soon. The workday came to an end. Aww. 
There were a lot of surprising moments and difficult patients, but everything went well. Hmm. <laughs> Give this video a like and subscribe to Lalalu. And click the bell so you don't miss any of our doll crafts. Mm.